Welcome back to Basement Video Podcast, everyone. We got a fan favorite here, Alex Antic. I'm a favorite now? I was only on one show. I think you're my favorite. Aw. Sorry. Shut Sorry, Cody, up. you're also a favorite. Shut the front door. No. You were on two. Yeah, you've been uh, where, on two. Where does the time this go? This is your third episode. How do you feel? I feel you're like... You're almost caught up to Cody. I'm wondering why am I even doing this. <laughs> why? Because I love you guys. Why would you wonder why you're doing this, then? Because sometimes you have to reflect on your own actions. Go on. Like, just like how I didn't really like the reflected on that movie and how I hated it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, man. I really didn't like that movie. Let's be honest. What's Can up? you say you enjoy that movie? Can you personally say you enjoyed that watching that? You got so bored that as we were, you were going to do the podcast tomorrow, you were like, uh, let's just watch a lot of reviews. I didn't pay attention I to that. I didn't say that. No, 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 no. John didn't say that. I wouldn't do that. I do my own research. Yeah. Yeah. You're, so you're telling me you didn't get bored watching it yesterday? The beginning, kind of slow. And the middle? Fun. What happened in the middle? The prison break. No, something else happened in the middle. What? I just thought the whole scenes with like the whole interaction once they had the whole family together was just really like... I thought that was funny. I thought it was like kind of like... Well, I guess it makes sense that it would be awkward because technically they found out that they're not really... They a, haven't seen each other for 20 years. They're not. Yeah, they haven't seen each other for 20 years and they're not actually a real family. Yeah, but I thought it was funny that the parents were acting like it was. The mom was an asshole the entire time. Like yeah, I, was she was though. like, she, like they were like, think I, I think I, and that widow and like the sister in their mind thought that okay, the dad's an asshole, but the mom can't be any worse. And then they meet the mom, and it turns out she's actually like evil. Yeah, but that scene where they're at the dinner table that was funny. Well, they're trying to act like parents. So like you thought that that pig choking was funny. I thought the pig was cute. Choking. I don't, I didn't say that. Don't you put didn't. words on my mouth till I start choking. I wish I had a controller for you so I can just t turn, st make you stop breathing. Andrew, See how you like Andrew, that. Can you just cut him out? Cut him yeah, out. I'll make him stop breathing. Yeah, can you just uh, press the breathing button? Uh, on it. <laughs> oh, wait, I got a chicken bone in my throat. Sorry. Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's obvious you hate the movie. Let's get into that. Let's just, and then I'll argue with you. Where do we even start? Well, first off, the, the movie. Beginning. Yeah, I guess the beginning. The first <laughs> off, the movie takes place during the in the events after nineteen ninety five. Yeah, the beginning though. Oh, beginning, beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, starts nineteen ninety five. I was actually like really confused. Ohio, Drew Carey's homeland. I was actually really like kind of confused. Well, I guess it makes sense because it's just like you never knew. Like you've seen Black Widow in all these movies, but you never really knew her like origin because the like, whole concept of her is like she's a secret agent spy. So obviously, her origin is going to be a secret. Like you know, you never really know anything about her past. Yeah. So the scene where like you see like her father and her you know her father and her mother at the beginning we're talking about still yeah okay when so kids, yeah. yeah it Blue was kind haired. of like it was kind of surprising seeing her father lift up an entire like metal bin just to clear the way for the, yeah, plane. That's the first time we see him doing i was like because they don't say anything about what he yeah did. they never they never mentioned anything about like what they did or what they're doing it's really it, fast paced at the beginning yeah because they just because shield found out where they were and then they were about to get captured by shield operatives yep. because the dad stole uh, secret intel from them and so that's why they were on the run classic and um i actually never saw that scene where he you guys mentioned yeah that i brought it up because i don't think you were <laughs> i was surprised because i was surprised at the fact that like the dad hanged on to the wing of the plane the whole the entire flight <laughs> i thought that was really funny yeah, he's fucking terminator yeah. <laughs> i was like wait a minute can people just do that is that i like no I think part of the reason why they showed that though is because he he was like a well he was running away from them so there was he like, wasn't like a superhero but he was like in the past like like um the red the red guardian he was the red guardian well he was but part, he wasn't at this point like he was in the past but not at this point so at this point like this is the part where like he is taking care of the daughters like the two girls because they're, they're gonna be Draco, spies. because they're gonna be spies for uh, Dracovich right what's it, what's his name is oh, uh, is that how you pronounce it Dracovich isn't it just Draco. Draco. Well, we're just gonna call him. Uh, I'm gonna call him Dracovich. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want, man. No, I'm just it's your world. We'll just live in it. Well, listen. It's basically, you, anyways. Oh my god. I don't want this to be about me since I don't like the movie. I hate the movie. Well, I, you're here. I, I'd go as far to say as this movie is almost as bad as uh, Thor two, and that was pretty fucking shit. Almost. Wait, are we, we're swearing right now. Should this be? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, shit. Shit. Fuck. I just, I really, there's no, every por part of that movie was really dry and kind of boring to watch because when you think of like the scenes in like Winter Soldier and in, um, 
You brought this up yesterday, but I didn't get it. So, like, the scene in Winter Soldier where, like, Captain America was trying to, like, lay low, and who knows how to lay low more than Black Widow. With Black Widow. Yeah, Yeah, those scenes where they're trying to, like, hide and run away from S.H.I.E.L.D. slash Hydra was probably the most boring part of that movie. Which I disagree with. I think it's interesting. Well, I think it it got interesting when they got to, like, Steve Rogers' like, old recruitment cramp, and it turns out to have, like, a... He had a cramp? Recruitment recruitment cramp. (laughs) I thought it was funny. I think it was cool when they got went back to that recruitment camp, Fuck and, yeah. and it turned out to have a underground like facility where it had a supercomputer that was like, like there was the guy from yeah, the, it was the the super genius Nazi man. I don't know. I liked the when they were on the run because it kind of. <clears throat> oh, fuck, I always forget. Andrew, do you remember the director's names? The two brothers that used to do some of the Marvel movies. Nope. That, they haven't done it in a while. Well, anyways, they would any Marvel movie they would try. They would get an inspiration from like older genres or just like older movies they and, did guardians of the galaxy right they did guardians of the galaxy no they didn't don't listen to andrew that's james gunn oh <laughs> right i thought it was somebody else our can our tech guy over here ladies and gentlemen i'm a tech guy what can you say he does machines <laughs> donatello over there no, i don't do them. yeah i don't know i operate them. nicole told me what was in your closet <laughs> <laughs> just giggles all right <laughs> listen this is a gang we're derailing the top. but yeah I, they uh they find influence from like older like movies and with that one it was like an older on the run movie which i like the way they did that because i do like those kind, kind see of that's movies. the thing is that you like no i know i understand you don't like that but I'm, yeah. just, I'm saying I you like, like on the run movies i hate that cl- i hate that whole part of a movie where they're on the run i don't that's like the thing. That. you you find a lot of cliches to be annoying I, but think, I, I find think, them comfortable. I think me personally, I don't like spy movies. I don't. I never enjoyed a single James Bond movie. I'm gonna say something right now. That's bad. I know it's brilliant. No, no. I'm gonna say something about myself right now. What? I've never watched any James Bond you, movie. You never watched James Bond. You never don't watch The Matrix. You never watched Blade. You never watched uh, Lord of the Rings. You never watched. I've watched Lord of the Rings. Didn't like you it. You watched The Hobbits. You watched the first half. No, no, no. I watched the both four, all six. With yeah. you. With you. No. I was. To be I fair, watch, I didn't watch Lord of the Rings either. To be fair, The Hobbits I wasn't drunk for. The Lord of the Rings I was. <laughs> then you should be more into watching it than if you're drunk. I don't know. Kevin Smith said it best in Clerks 2. Too much walking. Exactly. It's about the journey, It's about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, journey was shit. Long. Too Start- long. Okay, well then I'll just say it in this movie. Well, there's too much fucking walking in this movie then. They gotta walk to get you're places. You're of Lord of the Rings. How can you say that? Yeah, this has way less walking. Yeah, but it's just like... That's near Sethroth. Is that Sephiroth? Is that someone from Lord of the Rings? No. Who's that from? That's fucking Final Fantasy. Sephiroth. Yeah, I know. Sick. This guy right here. I'm right here. <laughs> Wearing a Nickelodeon shirt. E.T. thinks he has all his stupid Power Rangers. Thinks he knows everything. But does it? I don't know things about shitty things I don't care about. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Final Fantasy thinks shitty. He has all these I've only played Final Fantasy 15 and 3. What am I going to come back here? Go on. Let's you just... know what? I'm t- Finally. Nicole, come in. Get someone that actually liked the movie. You piece of shit. You ever fucking do that type of shit on my show again, you won't be bailed back on. Oh. Oh, are we, oh, hey, guys. We're recording? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Alex, my best buddy. How's it hey, going? best buddy. Yeah. What's that up? That was a quick bathroom break you just took, eh? I had to take an angry piss. An angry one, eh? Yeah. This movie gets heated in the piss area, huh? Yeah. I was pretty pissed. So you didn't like the prison scene? No, I love that scene. That was my favorite part of the movie. That was a whole... That was kind of funny, like, how he was, like, talking about, like, and then I took Captain America's shield, and then I shove it in his face, and everyone's like, whoa. And then the guy who actually knows Cap personally I, I, I was like, Captain America was in the ice during the 80s, so how would you have that never met them in the first place? And he's just like... <laughs> breaks his arm, and <laughs> it's just like, how about that, huh? And so everyone's like, everyone just shuts up, and it's just like... I fought Captain America, okay? And then he just like uh, storms off. Yeah, that, was, I, that was funny. And uh, I was like, who the heck? I was like, so he is like someone with like a super serum or something like that. And, they don't tell you, but I assume. Yeah. Just by the way he is. And then um, I love how he got like the toy that was a gift from like his daughters and it was like, it had an earpiece inside and they were like, okay, now sneakily get to the left wing and he just was like I'm getting yeah, out of yeah, here yeah, he, he was, they were like uh, don't cause a scene and the first thing he, he does is like, like punch boots a down a door yeah, he, <laughs> he punches two officers boots down a door takes their shield and, and like all start, the inmates are running starts a, starts a prison riot like everything like the worst he can do 
and um it was kind of at first i was really like gonna get mad at that scene because it shows how capable he actually is and, and he could almost, have broken up by and himself. And it's, it's almost like he could have escaped prison at any moment, almost. You think it's one of those things that were like... But then it shows that like he couldn't climb the wall. The wall was too high for him. No, no, he climbed a member, but he got hit. Yeah, okay. Then Someone he, knocked him down, he yeah. fell on his back. So it's like almost like he can technically almost get, escape. You think it's one of those things where it's like, he's, it's like, why would I escape? What do you mean? Like, who who's he have? He's Besides, just, like, he doesn't... I know right now he has a daughter and the fake wife and whatever, all those daughters that he has. I don't think he really cares. Well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like he could have escaped if he wanted to, but maybe he didn't want to because, like, what the fuck's he going to go to? I think the reason... Because, like, the, oh, yeah, the, people, a, that that he worked, the people that he worked for yeah. put him in prison. <laughs> His family, he doesn't know where they are. They haven't been seen him for 20 years. I think that makes sense because then, like, in prison, he can tell his bullshit stories for as much as he wants. Yeah, he's people. king shit. Yeah. But he, for someone who's king shit, he seems pretty excited to get the hell out of prison. Well, because now he's like, oh, I'm getting the gang back together. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> he didn't say something to say about it. What? Okay, so he's actually a mutant hero. Um, Mutants don't, don't exist in this universe. Guard. I don't know who they are. Um, but he's basically the Russian equivalent of, of Captain, Captain America. America yeah. yeah, this guy's established in the movie. He talks about how... Uh, they were like rivals, but like not like it was a power struggle rivalry. Or what something did he like call that. it though? He didn't. It he he said something. Yeah, he said it was like, like we a, weren't rivals. Like we didn't like each other. It was more like a. It's like a cold war kind exactly. of. Exactly. It's kind of like yeah, and he was like it's pretty kinda, cold. Yeah, so he was like he saw Captain America as like an some, adversary, an adversary, but like is that he, the right word. But the thing is, he acts like he Me met. Either. The thing is, he acts like he met the guy or something. Like, did he like remember like the scene where he was like he got rescued and like the first thing he said after twenty years of not talking to his daughter was just like, "So, um, has Steve ever mentioned the me?" Yeah, that was bullshit. Like, I don't understand. Does he think he met him or like he, he knows him by name too? Did he say Steve or did he say Captain America? I think Captain America. It's just like it's it's weird. It's almost like implying like there was some sort of like replacement cap that could cover for him or, or something there was like, like a, there was like someone who's like a i don't think so like, like i get where you're getting he at say he fought him yeah no, that's the stories that he tells that's people the stories though. he's telling yeah yeah but, um, it doesn't make sense if he did because again he was, uh, he was not old enough captain america was frozen in the 40s he got brought back in like 2010 or whatever it was he wouldn't he would be born but he would be like a kid or something like that like unless he fought him that we don't know about or like hung out with him when he was unfrozen which we don't know about and it doesn't seem and that's like that's the only thing that I could think of that would make sense. Yeah, but even people who have the Winter Soldier serum, including like the old man from Falcon and Winter Soldier, it's well, Captain America Winter Soldier now. Yeah, so that old man, he had the same exact Super Soldier serum, and he's like old too. He's like, he's you like think a, it stays the same though? Because Captain America well, had it in the forties, that guy had it in like the fifties. Well, this is the thing though. Is like I think after since the successful test of Steve Rogers, a lot of countries are trying to like replicate their own kind of like version. So Russia might have came up with like their own serum and it maybe could have a different effect i don't know but it still doesn't change the fact that he would not know who steve rogers is he would never have faced him or fought him at any point in time yeah unless we don't know that he is old yeah so that's the thing that bothers they still me. had like news back then and it was still pretty global to a point what are you talking about like in a in no we're the point, situation the, the point is is that the time sure. the point is time doesn't match up though we're saying that the as far as we know right. david harbour's character wasn't even born when before captain america was frozen so there has been no point for him to be near him or fight him yeah right. captain america went back in time well he oh, oh. Time makes you, you think, <laughs> wait, but do you think Steve would risk breaking like the rule of time travel? I want to show with Steve Rogers what the fuck he did. He f he fucked his wife, his girlfriend that he's wanted to. Date. No, I know, but there's come on. You went back in time to the 40s and you lived all the way through to 2023. There's no stories there of him trying to hide that he's Captain America or stay low or you, weird things he had to do. When you fought an interstellar conqueror no i get it i get it all that shit you kind of like want to have a vacation or retirement no no, no i get that. i get what you're saying 100 percent. but when you're about that life and then you just stop for 70 years i think there's got to be some form of that life still in your life i think because the fact that captain america is captain america he can't risk the fact that like he time traveled yeah, and like, come on he, he can't he no can't. i understand the logic of what you're saying but this is also a movie you gotta think 
Like they, that's, so you, that's a lot of story right there. They could do something. So with. you think at some point when he went back in time, he might have faced, I'm not even saying David Harbour's character, the red guardian. I'm just saying in general, there's gotta be some fucking stories there where like people would approach him. Cause they like, think of even just like government officials or like shield when they became a thing. Maybe just like, hey, we know you're chilling here and you came back in time. Like, you want to do something for us? And maybe they're like forcing him to do something to be like, hey, if you don't do this, we'll fucking tell everyone. I something. just I just think that like that. It, I get what you're saying. It that breaks he the rules do it. of yeah, everything because yeah. then it makes it seem like then everyone, then S.H.I.E.L.D. knows that all this shit happened. Well, then. think about how easy this would be for Marvel. If he fucks something up in the timeline. Oh, he did this. Mutants. Oh, he did this. That's why this is like this. Oh, look, Fantastic Four has been here the whole time. We didn't know. I don't know, man. I don't think that would happen. I don't know. I think like it's just easy loopholes they could I think do. It's, they are setting up. Like if they d- if they do something, then that makes me have a lot. Of, uh, that's a well, big thing. About I know you say this about the movies, but I think you're harder on the movies than you're on the comics. All this stuff that I'm saying is comics. Happening you in can the get com- away with shit. Why movies, can't you, you have to movies? Be, because you have to be more professional. You have to be more real. I, like like a comics, you can get away. Yeah, but then with- you bitch about stuff not being like the comics. I never read the comics. Of what? Marvel. What? I don't read Marvel comics. I read DC comics. You read DC Spider-Man. Fan. You read Avengers. You read. I don't fucking... know that much about that. I if I say something about, I just look it up online. It's not like I actually read the books. Truth comes out, eh? No, that th- I've never lied. Truth comes out, eh? Technically, he did say last episode he doesn't read the comics. Thank you. Yeah, but he also went on a twenty-minute tangent about how Loki gave birth to a horse. That's a myth. That's North that. mythology. That's Norse mythology. That's something that people were like. I don't know who Norse is, but I don't care about what you're saying. I think you had too much of drinking. What do you got yeah, this there? Is Dairy Queen. I'm good. Dairy Queen, huh? It's Christmas. We're good. Merry Christmas. I mean, eggnog? Uh, I think you that. had a little bit too much eggnog. Hey, Santa, you're here early. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, in, Christmas in July. You ever see that movie? Like, so, no, yeah, like, do you ever see that movie, though, actually? No. I know the claymation Christmas movies. No, wait, which one? Like the Rudolph Frosty. Of course, I've fucking seen that movie. Do you ever see the weird one though? It's like Christmas in July, and it's like Rudolph has to like save Christmas because someone having to the, the, someone's trying to take over Christmas or something, and he has to like go. Uh, he gets like, oh no, sorry, I'm wrong about everything I just said. Baby New Year, the Baby New Year one. We but watched that with your house. Yeah, it's Christmas in July though. That, that was one. fucked up. Because there was a whole like it's that like vulture. one of those weird ones that's like a weird story they definitely made up themselves. Yeah, because there was like the one vulture that ate time. It was, yeah, it was literally a fucking yeah. Giant and he kept vul- trying to attack them. He he kept that vulture ate every year, and it was that was kind of scary. Where was Baby New Year was like because every year was an island. Remember? Where yeah, every yeah, every yeah. year represent. That's a lot of fucking islands, by the way. That's sick. Oh, God. that's. T- Weren't we talking about fucking Avengers though? <sighs> what? So yeah, do you think that the vulture from <laughs> oh, never mind <laughs> the face you just gave me? I was just gonna bullshit some shit. I knew you were. I that's why you I mean ga- the I, the vulture from the movie I, I, at I the gave, time. I gave you that face the second I heard the word vulture come out of your fucking slurring lips. Come on, are they slurry, Andrew? No, <laughs> not that bad. You need a vulture. Drink your water, He's bitch. Yeah, I am drinking water. Alex unlike Star- unlike our host sober. here. <laughs> do you hear what he said? He says I'm slurring just as much as you do sober. <laughs> yeah, c- yeah, c- yeah, Captain America's uh, boot cramp. <laughs> so, yeah, when, uh, so you didn't like the sister at all? I remember you saying. Uh, now that I look back at the scenes, I think the sister had the thing that bothered me was that the sister almost seemed like the main character. Well, I'm fine with when that. When the main character should be the person who's named of the yeah, movie. but think about it. You're making a movie about someone who's already dead in the movies, and you're probably trying to set up someone to take over for her. You're gonna that's, push a that's little. That's another more. thing that leads up to another topic I wanted to t- uh, bring up was that the fact that like uh, we are gonna definitely see more of her sister and the Captain America from Red Guardian. Yeah. Or not? No, I'm talking about the Captain America. Oh, from, the uh, U.S. agent. Yeah, this brings up the end of the because they're gonna be in the Dark Avengers. Can we actually put that clip up while we're talking about it? The end credit scene. We'll do that for our end credit scene. Okay. There you go. Okay. Because you didn't bring that up, so we didn't. I'm really yeah. sorry. Come on, Alex. <laughs> Listen, I think that we come. I up, can find it. Give me a minute. It's just like uh, because um, Val, but she doesn't like be called that. No, who would? She. Is recru- it seems like she's recruiting her own, like, Dark Avengers. Did you know this was supposed to be the first appearance of her? 
but this movie was delayed. Yeah. Her so first this, this is her first appearance. Yeah, 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 it's you're technically right. it's te- supposed to be. But time, time, canonic, or not canonic, what's the term called when it's like time? Well, technically, because this takes yeah. place before uh, Captain America. It takes America place all that. Yeah, it takes place before all that the shit. First time happened. we see her is in the Captain America one. Yeah, so movie, this is her Marshall. first uh, chronological appearance. That's what the term is Correct. called. Correct. But th- th- this is more interesting than her on Captain America Winter Soldier. Fuck you. But do you agree? Because like this is like the sister's already working for her. It's not like she's trying to recruit her. She's like, I got, yeah, your, yeah. I got your next like gay. You got, you got your ne- next. Like it's like she's already been working for her for a while. It's and not like be, she went and, to the U.S. agent. And she's and, like, hey, you want to be part of this? No, she's already be, a part of it. Yeah. So and to be fair, it's like you know what's funny is I like how all those black widows are like now freed from like the mind control. Yeah, they just fucking dip. What are they supposed to do now with their lives? They have no birth certificate, you think no gonna... record, no like history of like any like you family. Think, you think some of them became like sandwich artists at Subway? What? <laughs> you think some of them just were like on commercials now because like, they no, they like get the they work at the restaurant. Saying that's what they call them, sandwich artists. I don't know what you're talking about. Subway, eat fresh, bud. Brought this uh, brought this uh, podcast. No, it's not. Don't listen to him. It's brought to you by Ceramic Et from Vive Village. No, no, no it's, it's not. not. No sponsors. <sighs> oh, why don't we have sponsors yet? We ain't good. We, we broke. broke. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I was gonna say something, but it didn't make sense. What? I was gonna say, I'm rich, bitch! But we're not, we're broke. <laughs> we're broke, bitch! <laughs> we're broke, bitch! There's a lot, actually. You didn't really go into it. I asked you a question. Oh, about what? You just didn't. You, so you changed your opinion on the sister? The sister is. Now that I'm rewatching some of these. She's scenes, cute. She's funny. Her fighting scenes her, are dope. I feel like the, the moments when the sister and Black Widow were in the car together and like whenever they actually talk just the two of them, it actually feels like... Are you just saying this because Nicole explained that scene to you before this video? Yes. Perfect. So, so We got through to you. It actually felt very organic and it would. And I look, I'm watching the scene and I'm like, that's kind of like how I feel like it would be with if I was talking to my sister too. Like if that was the situation, yeah. Yeah, it actually feels like two family members talking and just enjoying like having a conversation to each other rather than thinking like... We're both badass assassins. We must be acting. I don't even, I don't ever get that feel. No. Like that, that's how they feel they are. I don't, I feel like uh, 100% that Black Widow just acts like a normal person. She doesn't ever, yeah, feel like, she like, never really seems like an she assassin. never, yeah. Unless I just, she's doing it. That's why I actually really like Black Widow a lot in this movie. The fuck? News to me. I just think that, listen, I love Black Widow. I love like female strong characters in movies. And I just think that like, Sex doesn't have to be the thing that sells and makes the appeal of a strong female character. That's what bothered me a lot with this whole like the jailbreaking scene where they're in Alaska and she's wearing like this like Arctic gear suit, but she's Is it the white suit ha- that she has on? Yeah, and she still has to show cleavage and it's like It's cold. Why would you why would you show that? We're trying to cut glass, we're trying to save your dad. Yeah, it's freezing right now. Why are you still trying to be sexy while you know, like Aren't you always trying to be sexy? All the time. I don't have to try it, baby. Fuck yeah, you don't. The end credit scene is in the Discord. Should we play it? I think we should say... I I think we should... uh, Well, let's set it up. I mean, yeah, we should do it now, actually, since we're already talking about it. Yeah, we already brought it up. Let's set it up. What did you like about it? And what do you... Let's... Before you... Because you were about to talk... I put the timestamp in there, too. Okay, perfect. I just thought, like... What I liked about it was that it's trying to, like, lead up that, like... In the beginning of, like, how Avengers first assembled was that, like, in the end credits, it would be, like, someone's, like recruiting someone and it just seems like not only was she already recruited but it's like we have a a next job for you and we we know who this character is who val you're talking about yeah who val is we know who she is and so like she it seems like she has like her own agenda because in vulture i mean not vulture in uh falcon and winter soldier she proved her and she has an alibi for like how she's not like one minute one minute i'm sorry the outfit she's wearing. Do you ever see Clueless? No. She's yeah. she look. She's wearing the same outfit from Clueless, I think. And she's got a dog. She remember she wanted a dog. Yeah, she did get a dog. Oh, I love that dog, by the way. What's his she, name, you asshole? Fanny. Oh, I didn't remember. Good for you. And so she shows up, and then he's she's like, "I got your new assignment," and it's just like, now that we know that who she is, it like actually like her what she really is she's been playing like you know like i'm innocent and all that, but she's actually in charge of like she actually has like a sinister objective and she actually recruited um the captain america from u.s agent u.s agent and so it seems like she's almost like trying to like assemble her own sort of like super dark dar- avengers would you say 
well, Dark Avengers is like a really different. Like saying Dark Avengers I, would like imply like a lot of characters would be taking. Like part knowing in her it. from only Seinfeld, um, uh, I'm gonna call her Elaine. <laughs> I feel like I know she's been in a lot of stuff. I'm not trying to downplay her, but the things I've seen her in are Seinfeld and the Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. She's a great actor. Because I've only seen her in like a funny role, and her being in the serious role in Captain America: Winter Soldier. Yeah, and this, so she's killing it. I think what I really want to see, you know, what would have blown me away if she was in WandaVision and she showed up to rescue, uh, Wanda. No, not Wanda. The evil. What's her name? Agatha. Oh, Agatha. Oh, that still might happen. I want that to happen. I hope she knows about that and that she was like. I'll set you, you know, I'll help you out of here if you help me with a mission. Because that timeline is different than the Captain America Winter Soldier and this movie. Well, this, that Because hap- WandaVision happened directly after Endgame. Yeah. So same with Falcon and Winter Soldier. That's not directly. Like, that is like directly after. Okay. That is like our, like the time now. Mm-hmm. Like Captain America Winter Soldier. How do you feel about this though? Like how she wants to murder. Uh, well, she's definitely trying to manipulate her because he's definitely not the person who killed. Yeah. But like Black you, Widow. but like you mentioned before and explained it to me is that no one knows what really happened. All they know is that he and her. Yeah, because you brought it up. You're like, doesn't anyone tell anyone? I was like, who told Red Skull? Yeah, you think Red Skull told people? You think? But I, you think Hawkeye would tell people? But like he would tell the Avengers. He wouldn't tell people that it would get around to Val or get around to because he doesn't. I'm, as far as we know, no one knows that that's her sister. Yeah, and I think that like makes, and no one even knows that she's a thing. I assume. Yeah, that's and that's what sucks is like you would think Avengers would talk like have another party like they did with uh, Age of Ultron where they have like a little guest party and then they like all hang out and chill and they talk about each other and it just seems like no one ever. It seems like after you know Iron Man died, everyone just stopped talking to each other because everyone's kind of like. Yeah. Well. As far as we know, because it's only been TV shows right now, and everyone's kind of doing their own. It's all focused on the certain characters. Yeah, and I just like I really. Hope- I did think it was weird. Like I get Captain America Winter Soldier. They're going to talk about Captain America dying, but he didn't die. Is he dead though? Is he dead, or are they just kind of like making it like seem like he's just going to live his retirement like old age or whatever? Is he still old, or is he actually did passed away? Didn't they make it seem like he died at the end? They're of the making game? it seem like he died, but that's what I'm thinking. It's like a cover up to make it so like we, he will be sorely missed. Uh. Yeah, like I guess we don't really know that, but when, what I was saying is no one really mentions Iron Man unless, unless the Spider Man movie. Okay. Uh, no, I'm because gonna, they only mentioned Iron Man dying in the Spider Man movie. I everyone, everyone knows that Iron Man's dead. No, I know everyone knows, but I'm saying it's not really a topic. Yeah, like even brought up in WandaVision or Captain America: Winter Soldier. Yeah, I mean, well, I feel like it's. A, I know Captain. They think Captain. I feel America like when dead. we're watching like the shows, like WandaVision. Fal- and uh, Falcon and uh, Winter Soldier. There, it's more like the subject is mostly the main character. No, I get that, hundred percent. But like, you think they would bring up like all oh, this happened because after Tony died? Yeah, I think that's a thing too. That's like I think they need to bring. Uh, they need to definitely like. I get it that the main characters are the main topic, but I think it's it's very important to acknowledge things that happened in the past and stuff like. That. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, They're like they, they I think, bring up Captain America being. Gone. I think that's I think that's a very important story. Uh, uh what's it called? Storytelling, a uh, world, a uh, world building. That's what it is. It's very important to, to acknowledge uh, it. Yeah, uh, to acknowledge all that stuff that's happened in the past. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, they only really brought up Iron Man being dead in Spider-Man, which, to be fair, is the only movie that we've had in the last little bit. But do you think they maybe would bring it up or like some brought up something that happened because Iron Man died? It's hard to tell. But to be fair, also, they kind of... Everything that's happening, in a way, is because Iron Man died, so they almost don't have to bring it up. When Iron Man died, that was so much happened because he's dead now, you know? Like, that's a... Think about that. That man was, like, a trillionaire, and he... Do you think his daughter's gonna be Ironheart? I have no... I, like I said before, I don't really know much about, like... Ironheart's, like, a... Oh, no, wait, they already said... Never mind. They already said... Because there's a deleted scene from Endgame where his daughter, he talks to his daughter in like the Soul Stone area. Remember mm-hmm. where like Thanos was talking to Kid Gamora? Mm-hmm. He talks to his daughter there. And That's shit. the thing that bothered me. I saw that deleted scene too. There's actually a lot of deleted scenes that show more involving the Soul Stone. Yeah. And I hated that. I hated that that like the Soul Stone is like the hardest thing, to, the hardest stone to get out of all the Infinity Stones. Well, but if you watch Loki, it's not. They just open a drawer. It's in a drawer. <laughs> they just open a drawer. <laughs> Fucking Fred has them in his on his fucking desk to, as a paperweight. I love it? like how big the fin- like the soul stone is compared to all the other stones. Did in you notice? That, did you notice that the soul stone is like four times the size of like any other Infinity Stone? Did, yeah, I did notice that, and I, I think I brought that up in the first episode that we had about the Loki episode. But like, 
Also, they have like multiple of each. Yeah, because this is no. I know. I get it. I just thought that was cool. It's just um, it kind of shows how useless like the the infinity how useless it is. In the, in yeah, the, yeah, the infinity stones are only as strong as the universe which they reside in. But if they're outside of the universe that they're born in, they're practically just like rocks, pretty much. Like they don't affect anything. Like, like if Loki was to grab them, he couldn't use them in the, not in the TVA. But no, if he, he left, he could. If he left and went back to his time, then yeah, he could. Anytime. Yeah, exactly. As long as he's not in the TVA, he can yeah, use them anyway. Exactly. That's so, what I gather from it, at least. And um, I don't know if you ever read like the comic. Tommy, let me borrow that. I thought you don't read Marvel comics. No, it's not a Marvel comics. It's the Marvel DC crossover. You ever watch that one or read that one? Which one? There's a few. There was. It was the one where. Um, like the main one? Mobius. It was uh, Mobius and uh, another superpower figure from the Marvel Universe had a contest to see which of their heroes in those universes is more superior, the DC heroes or the Marvel Universe. And they had a wager where I think the winner would have... Uh, I think it was like whoever won would gain control of that universe or something like that. Yeah, like in that comic, are they supposed to be like merging or something? Something like that. No, in the end, they merged because what happened was um, in the end, the DC team won. They got all the items that was like... A, it was like essentially what their objective was like a scavenger hunt. Like... They had to collect all the items of power, like the Spear of Destiny, the yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, all nullifier, the Infinity Stone. I think I read that when it came out, but I don't remember. Much. Yeah. So in the end, did the the DC team won, but because the guy was a sore loser, he kind of like flipped the table essentially. The Marvel guy. Yeah, he was a sore loser, and he flipped who was the it? I, that's the thing though. It's like I forgot like who was. You forgot who it was. Well, I can't read it because my my house got flooded. Oh, your and all his, got I, read, I yeah. didn't tell Tommy that, but those comics are. Um, like Tom, Tommy, Tommy watches this podcast. I'm really sorry, Tommy, but your comics are kind of in the garbage right now. Well, no, it also sucks. Mm. The flood also ruined all of Tommy's comics that were at his mom's house. That flood that we had. That flood. So all the long boxes that were ruined. Yeah, but like that flood. Fuck. So Tommy, if you're wondering, I still have your Ghostbusters IDW comics. <laughs> They're perfect. And no Tom, flood here. And Tommy, if you're wondering, that Flash comic is mine. I bought that. That isn't yours. I didn't borrow that from you. So go Which fuck one? yourself. The one he gave me. No, the I one. have the one he gave me. The the flood. one he's talking about is like is like the, the one you got butterfinger stains on. No, that's because if it has butterfinger stains on it, it's my butterfingers because no, my no. Book. Remember, you, we bought that. Yeah. Village. So Tommy got mad because I borrowed his Flash comic. It's right there, and, I have it. The yeah, best story and, Flash uh, ever told. To be fair, I it is my fault because I was uh this is like back when I lived in my old house and my old house had a pool and I was reading his comics while my sister was swimming in the pool and there was water sprinkled. I'd be below. distracted when your sister was in the pool too. Let's not talk about my sister right now. Uh, later? Nah, whatever. But what I wanted to talk about was um how if we're getting back on topic cuz I, well, I have one off topic. The topic was, the topic was we were about. talking about the deleted scenes from Endgame. Yeah, I want to get off topic because you brought up a crossover. Did you ever read uh, Avengers vs. X-Men? No. You got to read that. I'll think about it. I don't have the books. If you have the trades, I'll, I'll gladly read I it. I didn't have them. Like, at the time, it came out when we were in high school, and I... Uh... That's the thing. is like If we ever go back to um, Rogues, if we I want it, there's a bunch of books I actually do want to buy. I'd, I don't know. I just get lucky. Like Most of the stuff you see on my shelf, I found at... Good, like Valley Village and Goodwill. That's the same thing too is because a lot of the books that got destroyed from the flood I was really lucky to find at Rogues. Like the Shazam versus the Respector. Uh, Spectre's lo- dope. I love him. He might be one of my favorite DC characters. I really love him. His costume could use a little Mm-mm. Whoa. Mm-mm. Oh okay I'm sorry. I don't know, I think his costume's perfect. You, you like that he just wears a I cape lo- and spandex? I love Probably it. not in this cape and the undies. Yes. I love it. Him and Deadman can get it. You like Deadman? I like Deadman, yeah. Deadman's dope. I like his personality. I think the thing is that I like most about him is his personality. I like he's, when he takes over kinda, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but what I wanted to talk about, like, that was on topic of what we were saying earlier, was that the uh, Endgame had, like, all these deleted scenes. And I think the ones that they deleted are probably, like, really important. The one with Iron Man's daughter, I feel like it shouldn't have I think that was. I think that was very important. I think that's a very important thing that Iron Man has his last words with his daughter, even if the daughter is a manifestation of the Soul Stone, technically. Yeah, because, yeah. because that was a thing. Grimoire, that wasn't obviously... It was pretty much the same thing that happened with Thanos with Iron Man. Yeah, so uh, another... But, deli- wait, another... how does that make sense? What? If Iron Man died, why would he have a Soul Stone manifestation like Thanos did? It's just a last sort of... Maybe like, that's why they didn't add it, because it didn't make sense, to the story it. they went with. I think that does make sense. I think what doesn't make sense is the scenes where... Because there's a lot of uh, fight scenes with uh, Thanos and uh, 
Spider-Man and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and... Uh, uh, with everyone. With yeah. everyone, essentially. At the end, yeah. Um, he shows that... He, you know how, like, when he fights, he uses, like, almost all of the aspects of the power, like, the Infinity Stones? Yeah. He used the um, reality one to turn people into paper or just stone or make them what fall. Did he, didn't he do something funny to Guardians of the Galaxy? That's like, what happened. That's what I was talking about. He I t- completely forgot about that he scene. Turned, that he he that turned Mantis into, like, just paper, and she, like, crumbled onto the floor. Yeah, like, Oregon And, and he turned, uh, uh, what's his name, Drac, into stone. Drax. But Drax. Yeah, yeah. He turned Drax into stone, and he re- literally crumbled. And the moment that he he left, like he used a, the the space stone to teleport his ass out of there, yeah. the reality stone effect disappeared, so everyone just went back to normal. Did you catch that they mentioned Thanos in the Black Widow movie? I think they were talking about Thanos. Remember, the sister was like... No, I know we talked about... No, that's she not... She was talking I'll, about I'll, the space I'll, guy. I'll, I'll talk about that later. Uh, but, but what I want to say... me. No, but seriously, it must like be Alex's show. I wanted to talk about it because I was still. You, we haven't even got to. The, I was talking about the deleted scenes. One of them was like he was going to use the Soul Stone's power because you, no one Thanos? really knows. Yeah, no one really knows exactly what the Soul Stone does. But there was a deleted scene. Which where, one? Any of them? You're saying the Soul Stone? Oh, so you said Soul Stone. Sorry, yeah, my bad. So there's a deleted scene where Thanos actually used the Soul Stone's power, and he like. Grim- uh, Drax, Spider Man, everyone was about to jump him. He used a soul stone and just took everyone's souls out of their bodies. And Doctor Strange had to bring their bodies back. That would have been sick. To be yeah, honest. because you know how Doctor Strange can astral project. So yeah, yeah. he would have done that ability to bring everyone's soul back into their original bodies. I can do that. And I thought that was really badass. Like that he could take. That he could just like. He- can you imagine you're fighting someone and he's just like, you're dead. I'm taking your soul out of your body. Like, that's so broken. Like, that pa- the soul stone is supposed to be like the, one of the most powerful. That's the thing that, like, when not just you, but like when people say this is broken, okay, well, that's his power. Yeah. Well, think about the Infinity Gauntlet once you. Well, like, a- when people say people in the Marvel Universe are OP, okay, that's how they are, though. Yeah. Thanos is strong because he's the, he is strong. That's just his thing. He was a. He was a he was when he was born his own mother tried to kill him because she, she saw that this was like something's wrong with this child you know is that uh, a fact that's a comic fact yeah i've i haven't read much thanos yeah. comics thanos was, i do know that he has a helicopter though yeah the thanos copter Hel- that, yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, Loki. <laughs> now what you were talking about though which one that when the sister brought up the god or whatever so that she said like space god no oh, I, she was talking I, about I know, Thor wasn't I know, she yes I know what you're talking. so because she was saying like She's, why is Drax now only attacking me Drax she, or no Drake, Draco why he's like she's saying like, why is now draco you know attacked? why do you have to say it like that i didn't because uh, i i don't know <laughs> listen she's asking like why is it now happening that he's like trying to like target her or whatever the part i'm talking about was when she said that's i'm getting to that part john oh, okay all right jesus me, christ let me fucking finish your world we're just living in it i'm trying to fucking talk and you're like i have an opinion and i'm uh, i'm sorry to the middle uh, of my sentence interrupt the beginning of yours fuck yes you. it actually did because you even said it was my uh thing you're bringing up anyway so loser yeah but you don't even know why she brought it up though you don't even know what I'm talking like, about yet. I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the fucking same scene. What, the ibuprofen scene? Is that the scene you're about to talk about? It's the scene where they were talking about, like, why is he now attacking Black Widow? And she was saying, like, well, since that you're Avengers, bring, attacking you would bring in the big Avengers. And it's like, who's the big Avengers? And it's like, well, I'm pretty sure the space god doesn't need, uh, you know, aspirin after getting hit by a bullet or something like she that. She said ibuprofen. Whatever, okay? She didn't do brand deals. It's well, not that's aspirin. A, I now completed the thing that you were talking about, why she you brought it up. You completely pissed me off. That's what you did. You pissed me off every time we talk about something and you're just like, I'm, I'm okay, it's just right here. This is, um, Listen to your simp. You're pissing me off. Fuck you. You wish, simp. Why are you calling me a simp now? Because I know it pisses you off. No, it doesn't. Why, why'd you get so bad? <laughs> you told me to fuck you. Because you say. think you know what pisses me off, and I hate that you think you know shit. Because I do. You don't. Hey, look, I'm uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, look, you're uh, an asshole. That's what they call me. Uh, uh, <laughs> <you> get... <laughs> <sighs> So you, so we went over why you didn't like the sister. I'll be honest with you on this, or I'll be, I probably agree with you on this one, but why didn't you like the mom? The mom, I, the I, mom think, I think the mom, like. I, I think the, I think we're supposed to not like her because ever since, I they, assume because yeah, I didn't like her. Ever since we saw her, she, uh, she kind of changed She, she, she kind of looks like she just like, ex, she embraced the whole like, I'm an asshole. But like, did you, so she, she sells them out. Yeah, she sells them out and then like she helps them, but she, did you notice why is she helping them in the first place? So she talked about how she worked with uh, uh, Dracovich the entire time. I mean, 
I'm sorry. Am I saying this? It right? doesn't matter. People know what you're talking about. You already said she, why you're going to call him that. Yeah. So she's talked about like why she's uh helping him. Uh, she she's helped with them. She actually built that flying fortress. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, she wants to cover her tracks. So the fact that it blow up was kind of like what she wanted to yeah happen happened. in the first place. And have him die also just helps well, her because she changed the, had a change of heart near the end, didn't she? Like yeah, she started helping them. More. I don't think she actually did have a change. I of think heart. it was her plan the whole time. I think it was yeah exactly. I think it was her whole plan the whole time to have like her super family work together to bring down the red room. Super family. That's pretty. No, much. I know it's just yeah. Funny. So she had the idea that like I'm gonna have the gang bring down this evil red room, and then I can be free to do whatever the fuck I want and have no strings attached to me and no like record of like what the evil things I've done. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So in a way, she changed, but only to benefit herself. Because in the end, I think she actually is just an evil person. Because did you see how she just didn't give a fuck about that pig? She was just like, "Oh, that pig can." She hold loved her. that pig. She made it so she couldn't breathe. It was like gasping for air, and she was. I'm gonna like, be honest. I missed that scene. What happened? How did you miss? About that. I know How we talked you... about it, but I don't know what like what he's talking about the not breathing part. She, I think I went pee. The whole thing. plot of the movie was that he had this mind control thing. And no, she, I get that, and I get and he was she a put really... it on the pigs, and she had a device that can control every aspect of a person's mind, and she turned off the pigs wanting to breathe. So what, the, for was there a reason? Just to show just that she can, just it. to prove that she can control people. And okay. as she's explaining how people are so easy to manipulate, once you you know put a microchip in their head, they're like the they're only one minute I'm calling PETA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like the whole time she's explaining the kid, you, did you see how the pig was just going? Yeah, I did see that part, but I didn't. Understand and then it falls on the it. floor, and everyone's just like, "Do you want to like make that thing breathe?" And she's like, "Oh, come on, he can only he can still hold his breath for another eleven seconds." Yeah, and the dad was just like, you know, drinking his water. That's kind of a jackass, but in a funny way, but kind of in an annoying way. Well, the dad's an asshole in his own way because I. But don't just the comments he makes about, like, "Oh, you on your period?" Like, that yeah, was, that was really fun. Like, that it, was funny, but like really it insensitive. Was it was and like, really I feel like rude. Like, I was surprised most, it was in a movie in this day and that's age. That's the most sexist thing I think I could anyone could in ever a Marvel say movie. Yeah, I think that's the most sexist thing anyone could ever say to a woman who's uh, giving attitude. You know, it's just like, why are you treating me like this? Is it your time of the month? And then she makes a joke about like, no, I can't have periods. I don't think she was joking, but it was a joke in the movie. Yeah, you know? that's a. I th I mean I get it, but I, at the same time it's it felt like really serious how they were like delivering these things and it was. Just, That's what I thought. I think she was being very serious, but it was supposed to make us feel awkward, which made us giggle. <laughs> I don't exactly. see you like awkward things. I can't. Who I can't, says that? I can't watch cringe videos at all. I hate cringe. Ironic. Yeah, I know because I'm here with you guys. This is the cringe. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's yeah, the cringest podcast I've ever been part of. Yeah, because wow. you've been you've been part this of is the only podcast <laughs> you've ever been a part. Of. That's near you. Terrible first impression. This is your third time here. Bro, you're here just to trash on it? No, I'm here to help you guys out while Cody's sick. Cody has a baby. He's uh, under the weather. Uh, in some ways, yeah, but I think that's not why he's here. <laughs> Almost indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I really love the dad because he's just like that stereotypical, like, old timeys like he doesn't know any better because he's been under he's been yeah, in i get jail. what i get what they were going for with him but like something like that Did period you, thing was really like uh, that's in a I, movie in 2021 i kind of love the whole that he's like trying to compliment but that his compliment is like only like solidifies that he's still a shitty dad because he's like look at what you've accomplished you're yeah you, you're the best child assassin <laughs> like yeah that's you, what every kid you wants have both murdered so many people and i'm so proud of you and they're both like the fuck are you on about like this is not how you're the best child assassin you you're a part of the avengers you're an avenger like and then they're like are we supposed to be thanking you or something yeah, and it's our just, lives were shit that's what brought us here yeah it's, did you guys watch stranger things yep. yeah of course yep. did you notice the dad looked like a russian hopper are you for real right now? Are that, you, are that you, is are, him. Are you joking right now? Are yeah, you... but he acted like Oh, yeah, too. yeah, 100%. Oh. Did you also notice that his name was Alexi in the movie, and that's the same name as the guy in, was it, season two or three that hangs out with him and uh, Will's mom? Remember Alexi, the Russian spy they have with him? His yeah, name yeah, was yeah. Alexi, too. <laughs> I was like, I was about to say, like, are you, like... Yeah, Alex is getting real mad. Uh, I meant, like, his mannerisms. Okay, I was going to say, I thought, if you're going to say, like, D he looks really close to the guy from Stranger Things. I was like, are you for real right now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> It's the worst 
Russian accent though. Oh, hundred percent. It's really bad, but mm-hmm. like he, you know what? He he is a good actor in general. Like yeah. I've when I watch Stranger Things, he kills it. He yeah, pretty but much. What else? In what? Well, I, I haven't seen anything else. Yeah, exactly. Done. He was in that Hellboy everyone hated. He was Hellboy, that new oh, Hellboy yeah. that came out last year. What? That, that's him. Yeah. Well, oh god, I'm stupid for not looking at this, but like, holy hot shit. Boy. Yeah, hot boy. That movie, <laughs> Hellboy, was not good. It was well. To be fair, they're all kind of. Well, like, you're fair when it's uh, Hopper, but you're not fair when it's Black Widow. What? You're you're making excuses for why it was bad for him, but not for Black Widow. It was bad because the movie was just directly poorly. I feel like uh, Black, Black Widow. Widow is just like it's hard to like make a secret agent like James Bond. <sighs> I, I, I've never seen it, but I'm saying lots is, of people like that. The, me, maybe this is just me, because I personally don't, like I said before, I don't like spy movies. I don't like James Bond kind of movies, so maybe this is why I didn't like Black Widow so much. Maybe. Be- uh, but it is, when I was watching this movie, it felt like I wasn't watching an Avengers movie. It felt like I was watching a movie that was on its own thing. You, you know weren't I mean? watching an Avengers movie. No, but I didn't feel like I was. Remember when I told you at the end when she got on the jet and it played the Avengers theme? I was like... Oh, yeah, you said that. I was like, oh, yeah, I, fuck, I forgot I was watching an Avengers movie. I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I was like, I didn't... I, I, it felt so different because, like... um, And this is a thing we haven't even touched yet since we're talking about Black Widow. Taskmaster... Mas- oh. I can't... Why can't I say this? Taskmaster in my opinion, is probably the biggest disappointment of a villain I've ever seen in my entire life, ever. Not because I of... I know, I gave you the look, but I know, go on. Why Why do you think? Number one... I get what you're saying about the her being like a Frank... Not a Frankenstein, but you know what I mean? Like a brain-dead type of incontrol... It's He's just so... Uh, Dragoff or whatever Taskmaster has been... Is a very... Interesting character. A- interesting character. He has a distinct personality. He has a huge but role. You got, let's, let's be clear. You're not mad because there was a girl. No. You're, you're, no, I'm, I'm you're just saying you're saying he a lot, so I'm just making sure. You, I, th- I think it's stupid. I wouldn't care if it was a girl. I think it's stupid that the whole fact that, like, Taskmaster is my daughter. Ah, I'm like, what? Yeah, to be fair, yeah. I, agree I was like, that. what? Are you for real right now? Like, you're going to make this iconic character into, like, your daughter that's, like, a. Like, Do you she- think, though, that maybe this was a setup for future Taskmaster? And I now think, that she's you know, come to, she still will be I Taskmaster? Think a, I think 100% what they're doing right now is probably what they did with uh, Iron Man 2 with the Nine Rings. Yep. Because the Mandarin was like he's this actor, right? He's he 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 played a role of the Mandarin. He wasn't the actual like Mandarin of the Nine Rings. Yeah. But now they're actually making Shang Chi. Yeah. I'm really excited for that. By that the comes way, comes out soon. I can't wait for that. I uh, September, I think. And I think that's I I hope this is what they're gonna do with uh, well, Taskmaster. They have to like this is stupid. It's like, not this, the same thing as Mandarin, but I get what you're saying. Like I think maybe. Now that she's even come to, she might still just be the Taskmaster. Maybe just, now that she's got her sense back and she's not being mind controlled by her father, she might still be the Taskmaster because it's all she knows and she's trained. I I don't know. I think it's which uh, I'd be fine with that. I if they actually give her a story and like lines. I don't think I could still accept him uh, her as Taskmaster. Why? It's just, I can't. They already said the story. I, it's too different. It's just way too different. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I, I know it was different in this movie. Maybe they're setting her up to become the Taskmaster that you know. Like, all this happened to her and she already is Taskmaster, but maybe she becomes the Taskmaster you know through this Troubles and Tribulations. It's still such a different person. It's such a div. It's such we don't, a big. She didn't gap. even have a personality though. That's what I'm no, saying. Well, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. They could still make her the Taskmaster you know and love, because literally, did she have a line in this movie? No. Exactly. So there's nothing to go off of besides her brainwashedness. She said, no, she, she didn't. Said one word she at the end of the movie. Did she? But that's what I'm saying. Like, they still technically have a blank slate with her because she was being brain or uh, mind controlled. So like, we don't know her as the person. We know her mind controlledness. Like it could come back and be the same uh, that you love. I just like I just I hope they do what they did with like because let me just say this: when I saw who was under the mask of Taskmaster, I had the same disappointing feeling I did with X Men Wolverine Origins when it was Deadpool that came out with his mouth sewn shut and he had like katanas for like. I get what you're feeling, but do you that get what was, I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? What could be happening? I don't care what could be happening. No, I'm saying if she becomes the Taskmaster that you that you're the hoping only for, way I could accept Taskmaster in the movies 
is if something happened to her and she died and her suit got stolen and then it ca- this guy was yeah, just... Yeah, but what if she just becomes like the cool Taskmaster that you know, like after this movie? We don't... Because like they don't really set up anything. I, I want to see how she how they're going to do this, but I just, at this point, was just so disappointed. Because I, I don't know. I've heard you bitch about stuff in these movies before, but then they surprise you and you were back to loving it. Which part? I don't know the exact, but I mean like you've not liked certain parts, but then the next movie, they do something else with that character that you're like, oh, okay, I see what they were doing. It's just so much. It's just too much at once with that character. It was just like, I uh, no, I think the opposite. It was not enough. <laughs> like what? She didn't do anything. Oh, I, I'm saying it's too much disappointment. Like, I guess she was mind controlled, but she didn't talk. Yeah, she was mind controlled by her dumb f- dad. Did you notice? Uh, this is a thing that I loved. Was that like, um, I get that they can't have mutants yet because like you know mutants isn't a thing in this world, so they had to come up with a excuse for why he, uh, he. I keep calling him he because I'm used to him being he. She. Why she can like mimic people's abilities or not abilities, but capabilities and stuff yeah. like that is because of um, obviously technology. And that's fine. I can accept that because you can't have like just superpowers everywhere. Uh, but did you notice that this the visor and how it scans people and copies their moves yeah. is the same as Iron Man? When he copied... Yeah, it's like the same tech. Yeah. yeah. So it's almost trying to imply that maybe they might have st- copied or stolen the tech. It's like it's the, it's really close. Well, a lot of tech in this the Marvel Cinematic Universe seems like a lot of it's stolen from Iron Man. Like yeah. even in the Spider-Man movies. Well, think about this. When Iron Man died, maybe it's, maybe it's easier to steal from someone who's dead. Who knows? I assume. I, I it's, it's hard to tell. But like, I kind of like the idea that Iron Man's tech is kind of like being misplaced perhaps maybe it's not stolen maybe he had like an estate sale <laughs> <laughs> but i do yeah, love <laughs> that so, yeah. but i do like how he had like all these different like weapons and tools like he had a uh, hawkman's bow he had uh, uh, black she- panther's claws yeah he had the claws he had the shield like based off captain america also i did like the shield to be honest this is what i really hope and she by the way what? You keep saying he. I don't care. I this is also this is how I really like the another uh, they're implying is that like you know how he she brought out a sword. Yep. You know how they're they're thinking of putting like blade into like the, In the universe. And I hope they already that, casted him. Yeah. So I really hope that like maybe the reason why she has a sword in the first place is maybe she might have saw, seen Blade fight and is copying Blade's fighting style with a sword. That's this is just me. Yeah, because no one else really has a sword. This is just me really th- hoping that that's the case because I r- I'm actually really excited that they're gonna start bringing Blade into like the Marvel universe. Well, the, he's already in the Marvel universe, but I, I'm really excited they're gonna start bringing him into the cinematic Mar- universe. C- cinematic universe. Because um, Taskmaster, when he uses a sword, I don't think that's actually him copying from someone. I think that's actually his own fighting style. Whenever he uses that sword. That's what I always gathered. Yeah. Because no one else really has a sword in the Marvel Universe that's like uh Exactly. No one uses a, like a sword like that like, like to fight. Andrew, can you look at this? On Discord? I'm gonna yeah. bring it up. Because that's an actual like medieval sword. This is him in the comics, probably like the eighties or seventies. But yeah, this he has like Hawkeye's bow, like you were saying. But yeah, that sword is like a, a like a like a French era sword. No, French eras are like that's rapiers. No, but it has the thing I'm talking about, like right there, like Spanish or like French sword. Like you, right mean, a, you mean a hilt? Look at that. I don't know names of fucking swords, of Alexis. The comic, the mm-hmm. top left. Mm-hmm. What about it? There's a bunch of heroes. That's oh, heroes. No, that's, just, that's heroes that they're gonna put in the comic. No, no, just on comic books, like like for the I think like 25th anniversary of Spider-Man, like every comic that year had Spider-Man in the corner. It's nothing to do with it. Yeah, I get that, but there's uh, every. It's one of those. It's Beast Vision, Iron Man. Uh, was this Scarlet Witch right here? I can't really see. It doesn't look like anything actually to me. Does she have the crown thing on? No. That guy next to Captain America looks like Bucky. Anyone past Captain America? Anyone past Captain America? I don't know who that is. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I. It's just. I think the fact is that Taskmaster is such a cool character that you can't you can't do this to him. Like he deserves more than this. Yeah, but does he? He does. He really does. He's such a important. He's one of those like side villains that are cool in the comics, but like maybe doesn't do too well in movies. He's never been in a movie. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. He's been in a movie now, which you didn't like. 
I don't know. I it's it's hard to say things of I I honestly have nothing to say about this Taskmaster other than the fact that like the fight scene on the bridge was probably the best part of the movie yeah. because you don't get to hear because I like the I thought it was kind of cool. I was like, oh, he doesn't he doesn't talk. He doesn't he's just down to business. I kind of like that. You know, it's just like he's just off topic, but on topic. Hmm. Andrew, you want to go to Discord again? Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it up. I'm not gonna open the pictures so you can see both of them. Do you notice any similarities? No, you don't think so, eh? No. I, just the way the uh, Taskmaster's uh, helmet is a helmet, and the other guy's wearing a helmet too. No, no, just even like the outfit, it kind of just reminded me of VR Troopers. Like, obviously, it's very different, but it just the first thing I thought of was, oh, that kind of looks like VR Troopers. Even like the way the helmet's sectioned off. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the way the helmet's sectioned off. Like, he doesn't have the visor like the uh, Taskmaster does here, but like, I don't know. It looks similar. That's the first thing I thought of. I don't know. I know you're a fucking sourpuss and you didn't think so and you're going to argue with me, but... I definitely see it. Hold on, let's hear your fucking thoughts about this. About what? I don't have any thoughts about that. They don't look anything the same, so I have nothing to say. They don't... Not. I'm not saying they look the same. I'm saying it looks like the costume design, like, kind of resembles. I'm just going to say he looks like a Power Ranger. Uh, he d it, Okay. You're saying he doesn't look like a VR Trooper, but he looks like a Power Ranger. Yeah. He looks nothing like a Power Ranger. The only thing that looks like Power Ranger is these, this shield, this uh, visor thing he's got. Uh, he doesn't look anything like a VR Trooper. He looks more like I one didn't than know a the Power VR Ranger. Trooper was a thing until you brought it up because you wanted it to sound cool. <laughs> no, it's the same people that made Power Rangers. No. Yeah. It's uh, Saban. Saban. Well, fuck me, I guess. Alex, you brought this up, eh? What was this for? <laughs> Oh, that Black Widow's informant uh, that I now forget his name because we were talking about uh, other things for too long. And No, uh, Mason, the agent. Bring it up. I, I have it posted. Bring it uh, No, up, John. That's, up. No, this is the vest scene. Go up. Go to the up. top of that? Up, up. The tinker? There we go. Oh, sorry, sorry. My bad, yeah. This is the Tinkerer's son, right? I did more research. Well, I, I was looking at, like, you know, I always like to, look, I don't, like, watch the videos that people, like, analyze about things about the movies and, like, Loki and stuff like that. And they're talking about, like, how Black Widow's informant was actually a character in the comics. He's called the Agent. And um, what I thought found was more interesting was that the Agent's father is actually the Tinkerer. Now, the Tinkerer is role in the comics which is, is this guy in the yeah in the he was actually universe, part this guy he's right actually part of uh and he was in spider-man homecoming and yeah, he, that's this they're guy showing right, right now that's actually the dad of the guy who was the informant for black widow which the, by the looks of the age range i don't think they're, to be fair this is doesn't it, but the, you know what's they're the same name like they have they still he's no name it, is, no yeah and I'm, I'm agreeing with you on that but i'm saying like look at their ages they look looks, around the same age, so maybe almost, they're not... Like, did he have his son when he was, like, 10 years old or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it just looks like maybe they're not going with the father-son thing in the movies. Maybe it's, like, a... Like a uh, what can you go with besides... No, I'm just saying maybe they're just different people, same names, different people. Maybe they know each other, but they're not related. I don't know. They have the same last names? Oh, in the movies, they do... Too. Well, we don't know Mason's last name in the movie. They're both named... They In the comics, yeah, but in the movie, we only know his name's Mason. No. We don't know his last name. They, it's the same name, so they're all the same names. It's the same name. They can be the same names for Where are we here. looking? Because, well, yeah, look, it even says just portrayed as Mason. Portrayed Mason. They don't give his last name in Black Widow. In the comics, I agree with you. Yeah, 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 they're related, but I'm saying maybe they're not setting it up for them to be related in the cinematic universe. You're not wrong. I'm just I'm just pointing out facts, bro. What? Well, because what's this guy's name? Is that what this is? Yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, this is the actual tinker in the comics right here you got. And it's the same name, too. They kept the same names. Oh, the last name's Mason. That's, That's what you were trying to say. That's okay, yeah, sorry, my bad. They both have the same last name. I just said that. Do you think they're trying to pay homage to this and just calling him Mason in the in the cinematic universe and not that maybe that's not his last name? That's his first name now? In the movies. Because, I don't know, they only call him Mason in the movies. I don't know what they're going to do. It's kind of strange because, like, I don't think we're ever going to see the Tinkerer I don't know. It just seems like this guy that we saw from. You don't think anything's going to go from think, his character I, and it's kind of it's kind of strange. Or not I feel like home, um, so, yeah. homecoming. This, I feel like this guy is just like, are we really going to see him again? Because he was just a. Junk I've seen him in other things. He's funny, but like, yeah. Well, to be fair, he did make some amazing technology with the alien tech that they got from New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, maybe who? Because he was working with Shocker, wasn't he? Was that the thing that was going on? Well, remember that he killed. Remember that Vulture killed Shocker, and he's like, "You're you're the new Shocker," and he's like. 
I'm the new Shocker. You think he's going to come back in the Sinister Sticks if they do that? Because they were kind of setting that up in those movies. But and, we haven't heard about it since. I don't know. After like seeing how in Spider-Man... With Far the, From Home Far was from the, home, the newest the, one. The fact that they brought back a scientist from the first Iron Man movie. Yeah. I feel like they're going to... They could at that point just bring back anyone and be like... His name's Electro, <laughs> not the Shocker. No, it's Shocker. It's Shocker. It's Shocker. It? Yeah. yeah, there's two. Electro's a different guy. Shocker is like... Right. Shocker doesn't even like... Really Shocker has like the... Electric shock fists, wave, shock like shock wave waves, like that, yeah. What's up? The- no, Andrew, not that shocker, you fucking dirty pervert. <laughs> Andrew, that's the know. only one that matters. You know, Andrew, you're the one who always brings up the dirty things in the show, and it really, you know, it hurts the viewers. It hurts me personally. <laughs> I don't think it hurts anyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm really hurt right now. Because of Andrew? Because of a lot of things. This movie hurt me a little bit. Well, this, is, this could be a great movie that like we can see a lot more of Black Widow. Like I say about a lot of movies, I feel like there's a lot of good parts, but not a good continuing storyline. They could have done a lot. Like I think one that sucked uh, was that the fact that like um, the Red Room knew where they were hiding because the mom sold them out. I feel like then, that was the cop the, out. And then the Red Guardian was like, "I'm gonna like it, it seemed like he was gonna have a moment where he's gonna like protect his family, and then they just did a." joke bit where they shot like a million darts at him and i was like kind of like really disappointed with that like i get like yeah like you said it was supposed to be a joke bit i thought it was funny when he got hit with the one but then when he could just repeatedly got hit and went down i was like oh okay it's just i i kind of like the idea that like yeah they did like one and then like he'll brush it off and just start running but that's what i thought was gonna happen too yeah um what bothered me was just the fact you think that would even happen though what shooting him with that many darts would knock him out no, I know that was gonna happen. No, I mean, do you think that would like, happen with his super <gasps> superpowers? Yeah, of course. Like, I get it. Like, there's like Steve Rogers and him are have super serum, but they're not like God. They're still human. They're not immune to like yeah stuff that, like that, that type of stuff. They're yeah. just gonna need a little a bit, little bit more, yeah. like something that would take down like an elephant or a whale or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, because their bodies probably burn through sedatives like that, like a lot faster. Obviously, a lot faster than most. Uh, because the healing agents they have and stuff. Exactly, and. It's just, it's really disappointing that they have, like, all these moments that, like, it looks like it could be cool. Like, the fight scene with him and uh, Taskmaster was, like, I wanted to see what he could do against, like, against someone who's, like, really, sh- like, can show, cause someone who can, like, fight like, on his same level. Yeah. And it cuts to that. It's almost, like, the same, it, it, I got the same vibe from, like, when I was watching the Godzilla movie. It's, like, Godzilla was about Which to Which one? The first one. Like, uh, oh, the the, 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 the. the recent one? The 2009 one. That was, like, the one, w- does that happen in 2014. 2014, Yeah. yeah. That was like because that movie was like it had a lot of like oh Godzilla's here he's gonna fight the Mudas and then it's like they cut it and then the kids like watching on a TV screen it's like yeah. I want to watch the actual fight you know yeah it's kinda, I got the same vibe from like that when I was watching um the Red Guardian fighting uh Taskmaster because yeah, like, I remember you even asked me like what happened and I'm like I think he just ran away yeah that's why I said he ran away and it's like okay that's really fun to watch and so, it was a good fight while it was happening. <sighs> And here's another, I, I've been bringing up a lot of, this movie had just so many cliches that I hate, and one of them is probably the biggest, the, really bad at story writing, was that this is the villain had all of his plans, all of everything that he does to, con- to do his evil plans, on one computer, and so she could literally just, you know, wipe the records off of like all those Black Widows get the files and then get out and then like blow it up it's and, classic <laughs> but like who if you're a super villain you're not gonna keep all your shit on one hard drive you're gonna have several copies like th- like spread out everywhere in case something happens you know what i mean that's why whenever you see like movies where people are like fbi is gonna break into someone's house the first thing the guy does is he like torches his gear and all, all his equipment it's probably because he's got like all kinds of like uh, other places where he keeps like file storages and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, that's what you think. This guy was like the scene where like his base is blowing up, and he found out that his ring is missing. He was gonna go back. Yeah, this he guy was wasn't gonna, too smart. He was gonna go back while his place was blowing up because he knows that everything is on that computer. And I'm yeah. like, this is that is a classic villain thing though. What to have everything? I'm not point. saying in new movies, but like in like old cartoons. That's what it felt like. I felt like I was watching old cartoons with him at least. Yeah. Did you not notice that like one of the scenes before they they freed uh, their father from prison, the Black Widow was actually watching an old James Bond movie. 
Was that what it was? We didn't know. It, was, it, was, it, was, a was, a it was a James Bond movie. It was a James Bond movie. Was it and a it's Goldfinger? Actually, yeah, and it was supposed to be a reference. It was supposed to be like foreshadowing like what's going to happen because the scene that happens in that movie is actually exactly what happens later on. In yeah, the, yeah. And so it feels like... That's cool. So that's why I felt like that when I was watching this movie, it felt like I was watching a secret agent movie because it, it... You are. And Cody was like, this is like James Bond. I was like, oh yeah, this is like James Bond. Yeah. It's a spy movie. And... I don't know. It's just the pacing was just really bad in the movie. The beginning was it was slow. In it was parts. slow in the beginning, and it it picked it picked up a little bit, and then it got slow again. Yeah, the and end. then it picked up a little bit, and then there was the act. And, the thing is, the action scenes are not like. There's nothing that like was like. I like the what's fights. the climax? What was the biggest climax? The building blowing up. I think it was supposed to be the, the build, whole the him there him red guardian fighting taskmaster but, but then that's that got, that's, exactly yeah but that got cut out that's that's what thing. i mean yeah so yeah. like when so i assume it's the building blowing you know up. how like every movie has like you know the beginning the middle and then the climax i can't like tell you what the climax was i think the climax I think it was supposed to be it blowing up yeah and i think that's a horrible and climax. her setting free the other black widow yeah that's another thing too was that like the movie never explained why there's a antidote because the person who had the first and at the beginning, of, remember, we yeah. just see her running with the briefcase. Full yes, of it. but that's the thing. No, 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 I don't agree with you. I'm just saying that's the first time we see it. So, this is a really bad like story writing because it's like I don't know if how often this happens, but I feel like movies have to explain why A is happening because we can continue onward. So, like, we see this Asian Black Widow and she apparently is running away from the room because she, I think, she uh, wasn't in the mind control like procedure but she decided that like she wants to like defect and when she defected she had she stole the antidote that controls like mind control but it doesn't explain like anything no one ever talks about her no one even talked about this person that just escaped by the way yeah, yeah. we don't even know she doesn't have a name i don't believe she has a they name. show her the her and the other girl that shocked herself in the head yeah. at the end on the computer she does it, i don't think that she ever had a name she was just a friend of the sister we would have saw her name on the computer but yeah you yeah. don't have to pay attention a lot for that so she ran away with the antidote and then like her sister and the black widow sister who was still mind controlled at the time mm -hmm. caught her killed her but before she died she freed her yeah and then she you could see that she was like you know like she's crying because she kind of like killed her best friend uh, sure her friend ish or whatever yeah yeah and so but that's it though it's like now we have uh objective we have to free the other black widows but i think that's which they do but yeah i, get what I think saying. it's stupid because it's like okay but like this that doesn't explain like how she got out of the red room and how she got the antidote in the first place and so so my, you want you want a prequel of the prequel no i don't want any prequel of this movie hmm. i want what do you let's, let's let's think what do you think's next for the this the characters in this movie well, that's the thing is like they're gonna be doing other side stories like Moon Knight and Doctor Strange, and it's just like I think with all these added movies, they're probably gonna like make. I think what they're trying to do now is probably like recreate like the whole like we're gonna make another sort of like Avengers collab movie, and it's gonna have like all these characters from like the Netflix and like Netflix. No, what Disney Plus? Oh, Disney Plus. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Netflix isn't. They're not. They've been talks about bringing the guy who played. Can William you still Fix. watch those, by the way? I think they're still on Netflix. Yeah. Can you watch Luke? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, they're watch still Luke on there because Netflix owns those. But they're not related to. Not yet, as we know. But there has been like rumors that that Matt Murdock is going to be Spider Man's lawyer in the movie. But it's a rumor. There's been rumors. He should. He's an amazing actor. I uh, yeah. Well, I think yeah. out of all of the Netflix, Dark Daredevil is probably my all time favorite. I there's, love. There's talk about the guy who plays Fist coming into the universe. Very there's talk nice. about a lot of it, but it all like I said, those are all just rumors. I hope they bring Castle and uh, Matt Murdock because those two were probably. The, I love. Daredevil I liked so Luke much. Cage. Yeah, you. You did. I really liked Luke Cage. You did. I really did. I'm very sorry. No, it was really good. I don't know how to tell you, man. I don't care. I liked it. Ugh. So, what do you think's next for like uh, Red Guardian, Black Widow, and her sister? I and think, I guess um, her mom, or maybe even the Black Widows that got freed. It's hard to tell because, like, think about. I, th I thought about it. Like, you're free now, but they look so. They looked so confused, yeah. and they were. And even one of them was like, "What do we do now?" Because like they have no his. They have like. Well, that's what I think. Do you think like something sketchy is gonna happen with them? I like think, maybe some of them get with like a bad guy. A hundred percent. I think like uh, Val is gonna probably like try to get a few of them at least. Well, them. they already have her sister. Think about this. There were like twenty or thirty of them, and they're all tr highly trained to sad. They're all black widows. Yeah. 
you have like your own pocket like Avengers right there. Almost. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like they have no idea of what to do now that they're free, you know, because they don't have a, they don't have family, they don't have a birth certificate, they don't have an identity of themselves. They're a person. That's the thing is that like the this guy like raised all these assassins to be just pigs because that's the metaphor yeah, in this situation yeah, yeah. is that they're mind controlled pigs, and so he was like. I don't care if they live or die. They can be used to topple governments, like ruin economies and stuff like that. He was trying to like showboat like how influential these like black widows can have yeah. on people and stuff like that. And it's just like, obviously like now that their mind control is broken, they're probably going to start finding work that involves murdering people. Cause that's all they know what to do. <laughs> no. Yeah, I agree with you, but I don't think all of them. You think I think some maybe of think some, some of them, them will be like Avenger helpers. Like I think some of them maybe will be like Avenger helpers. Avenger helpers? I don't know how else to put that, but yeah. I think... This is the thing, is that like, I think Black Widow in this situation should have been like, hey, S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, we got some like... S.H.I.E.L.D. wasn't a thing anymore. Oh, yeah, because of uh, Hydra. S.H.I.E.L.D. is gone now. No. Oh, fuck. Well, S.W.O.R.D. is still a thing, though. S.W.O.R.D. is part of S.H.I.E.L.D. No, they're their own thing now. Okay, then tell S.W.O.R.D. Like, that. it's the new S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, so like, I, I think... Does Black Widow even know about Sword at all? Do who? I don't even know if we know about Sword at this point in the timeline. The only reason we know, oh yeah, well, because it's after Civil War. But well, here it's kind of all over. Yeah, like the end scene is after Infinity War. Yeah. It's no, a... no, it's after Civil War. No, it's after Infinity War. The end, the scene? end scene. Oh, end the end minutes. scene. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not Infinity War. End game. I was gonna say the because. Yeah, uh, here was another thing too. Was that like? Do you remember the scene where in uh, uh. In the end of uh, Come on. which scene? Which which movie was that? The end credit scene where it's, it shows that uh, Nick Fury was in space, where he was trying to enjoy a vacation trip, but he turns out he's in space. Spider Man, far from fire, far from home. So that's the thing is that he's still alive, so he's part of an organization, and that's Sword actually. Yeah, that's sword. That, that is Sword. Yeah. So it's it's strange that he hasn't like contacted like Black Widow saying like, "Hey, Sword She's is dead." A and he wasn't up there when she was alive. Yeah, I kind of forgot that now. <laughs> I keep forgetting that Black Widow's dead. Yeah. This is, it feels really strange because it's like, um, it, for those of you who haven't watched uh, WandaVision spoilers, I think we should put, do we put spoilers in the beginning of these videos? Yeah. So like spoilers, but uh, WandaVision, Vision technically does come back. He has a new body that he just now like, kind of convinced himself that you are the new Vision because he like re... Oh, she did, remember? No, Vision fought himself, remember? Are you talking about White Vision? Yeah. Okay, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Vision fought... So the government made this White Vision to kill the real... The the The, the Vision that she made up. Yeah. With the Soul Stone. Yeah, exactly. And then the Soul Stone Vision was just like... He had this whole talk about like... When you take enough... When you take enough pieces of like... The original that, away... She was talking you, about like some ship, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a theory that's like if you recreate if you uh, if you keep repairing you, something is it, is it still, still that the original thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so he was saying that like you are a vision and he like gave him all of his memories back and I think he like implemented his soul stone into him or something like that or, well he technically doesn't no oh, no did yeah because we don't know how that soul stone works because she made it and plus the soul stone's gone now yeah and it wasn't the soul stone it was the mind stone sorry yeah, yeah. mind stone yeah yeah so. Now Vision is back. He's alive technically. We don't know what we don't know anything because about him he, after flew, he flew he away. flew away after he like was like trying to process everything that just yeah, happened yeah. right now. But technically he is back. We don't know how that's gonna work out. Yeah. Though, yeah. So Wanda is back. Vision is kind of technically back. He's like figuring himself out. Wanda's trying to figure out her powers because now she's got Wanda has got like he, she now fully realizes that she's the Scarlet Witch. And which is she's really powerful. She's really OP right now. Yeah. Because Scarlet Witch is like, she can change. You just saw that she made a different, whole new reality. She literally is a reality stone on her own, right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of scary how powerful she is. So hopefully she doesn't turn evil. I don't know. Has she ever turned evil in the comics? Yeah. Okay. Well. Ooh. Well, she kind of was in WandaVision for a bit, in a way. She went crazy. How would like she want? No, that's what I'm saying. It was kind of evil in a way. When you think about it, 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 she kept everyone under her mind control. That was the thing. Is like I liked. To, I kind of liked the the story about Wanda. The kind of same thing with the uh, Black Widows because Black Widow was like this is during the time with uh, Endgame where not Endgame, uh, uh, Civil War, where everyone was in jail, and so she's like, I don't have a family. I should try to like. That's not what happened. Well, she she didn't want to be with her family at all. Nicole. 
We need you. I wasn't paying attention. Alex was saying that she wanted to fix her fake family, but you brought that to his attention earlier that that's not what happened. Oh, yeah, that's not what happened. So originally she went to Budapest just to... Budapest? Yeah, that's what she said. So she was there <laughs> just to um, like try to deal with it on her own, but her sister was already there. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, when she spoke to her sister, they realized that they needed their father to know yeah. where the yeah, like she and wasn't going there to the find dad, them. The dad was like, "No, we need the mom." So that's how they all got together. Yeah, she, so she didn't. All, she all, didn't go there to do that. Yeah. It was all a coincidence, almost. Yeah, yeah. Usually in the dinner scene, like. Do you think this whole thing is too much of a coincidence? This is like. Well, it's it's, it's only a coincidence that she saw her sister. The other two aren't coincidences. Well, no, the other two make sense because they're like, okay, we need to find where this guy's hiding and dad probably knows best. And yeah, and then dad's and like, didn't... nah, mom knows. Yeah. She was more of the brains. I was more My of the sister brain. was the only coincidence that she oh, saw. okay. I thought the whole thing was a coincidence because... No. Like... Well, back to my fucking question. Mm. What do you think's going to happen to Red Guardian now, forward? And the sister and even the mom, I guess. That's hard to tell. I We don't even know what he's... His perp- now that he's like out of jail... And he's wearing the suit. And he's... Do you think that he's gonna... He's probably gonna have to run away because obviously they're like... From he, Russia, at least. Yeah, he's or, gonna have to, like, leave Russia. And he's gonna probably, like... Do you think the Avengers are gonna take him in? Try to make him somewhat better? Well... Not even be an Avenger, but, like, try to, like, be like, okay, we'll hide you out here. It's really hard to tell. I have no idea what he's gonna even do with his... Like, this is the thing. It's, like, the same with, like, the Black Widows. Like, all he knows is, like, how to fight. So it's, like, who's he gonna join? Is he gonna, like... Act- well, she joined the how Avengers. Do you, like, how do you apply to be a... Hey, Avengers, here's my resume. Um, they might just ship him off to Wakanda. You think? He's just gonna... Why do you what, think Why that? do you think that? What? It's a good place to store people. <laughs> they did it with the Winter Soldier. He went there on his own, didn't he? No. They took him there. They shipped uh, him there. Wakanda's he needs a new arm. Wakanda's just the place that like superheroes go to like re- go to rehab or something like that. It's like no. the scrapyard. No. Yeah, here, give this guy a new arm. Yeah. <laughs> give this man a shield. Give this man an arm. You get. <laughs> and the, I think that's like I love that a part about Wakanda is that like since they have like so bra- so much vibranium that like whenever like they they lost an arm or a shield they're like here you go it's vibranium too. <laughs> Same with Falcon too. He got a yeah, new whole. Yeah. He had a whole fucking suit and yeah, wings yeah. made of vibranium. Now and then he's like, "Yeah, hey, I'm Captain America now. I this is a so suit. Cool. I need a new one." I, I, <laughs> I love Falcon so much. Yeah, like I, that, I at first I was like, "Falcon's like." like yeah, well, watching most of these shows besides Wandavision, to be honest, I was kind of like, oh, "These characters aren't too whatever." That's the thing that like, like but they brought a new light to them. That is yeah, really nice. and I love it. I love like I, t- I I didn't like I always knew like Scarlet Witch was really cool, but like she kind of like in the movie she wasn't yet. She wasn't like. I, it shows that she didn't really fully know. The first she, time we see her being really cool is when she fought Thanos. Yeah, because she was the only one that was, she was closest. Yeah, because she was fighting him on her on her own on her own in that scene. Yeah, yeah, but and it's like it's crazy how like she has so much power that she hasn't even realized yet. And so like in WandaVision, it shows that she's almost like this godlike power source of like infinite potential, almost that she can make her own reality that she so chooses. And um, same with like Falcon. Falcon, I was like, it's just some dude with a jetpack with guns. You know, what I mean, I didn't think much of him. I didn't. I thought he was. We go like, more in depth in the character. He was kind of. He, so he nice. was kind of like on the same boat as like uh, Black Widow and uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye yeah. As like they're just dudes. They were there, but they were they were humans doing shit. But now I actually do believe he could be like a Captain America. You know, I d- he he did a whole training montage. He had that whole like scene where he came <laughs> in with a new. Why don't you do the montage or set? What? Why don't you do a montage oh. or set? I love when they do the montages are my favorite. I love showing growth of a character and the shows that, that they can like, like in the goofy, extremely goofy movie. Right? Yeah, I like that scene too. By the way, where he did <laughs> the right. push-ups with All the right. books. So what are your? We I think we and, get but the, the thing. Go- but oh, okay. my point yep. was was that like with Black Widow, it was like it didn't show. Well, that's what I'm about to ask. I'm about the only to, thing it shows is that, like, growth-wise, is that she feels like that since she can repair, like, her family that she thought was fake in the first place, it's almost like she can repair, like, her Avenger family, too. And then she dies. I guess that's, yeah. But I feel like we already got a grasp of what you think, but I guess I'm going to ask this anyways. So what are your final thoughts on the movie? I don't, I don't know. I think it's stale. It's like eating a dry turkey, almost. Why would you eat one? Because it's it's still turkey. It's the it's got that it's Avengers. You know you gotta want you want you you know turkey's good. I don't you know eat. Avengers good, but this one was just kind of like I dry. Don't, I don't eat meat. I know you don't eat meat. I'm saying I eat meat. I'm saying this turkey was dry. I don't eat turkey though. Can you do a different reference? <sighs> it was like eating tofu. Oh, dry tofu, gross. <laughs> you got anything? Any final things to say? Or is that it? 
we talked about Taskmaster. We talked about like yeah, we talked about everything. I'm saying your final thoughts on the movie. That's all you got to say. Was the turkey reference? Out of ten, Infinity Stones. Infinity Stones. Out of ten, Infinity Stones. How many you give it? Five. It's a five. I was gonna say like five point five six. It's a yeah. five. It's like the most five movie I've ever seen. Like the. I'm gonna give it like an eight. An eight. What about you? I'm going for a six. That's what I was gonna think. A five point five six. Yeah, because it was still. There's good things that happened, but yeah, I agree with you. The movie as a whole, maybe wasn't the best, but I liked parts that happened. Yeah, I definitely liked parts. Yeah. But like you said, there was parts that dragged on, and that's yeah. what lowered the score for me. Yeah. Okay. And on that note, chat you later.